All right, the, uh, the best linebacker slash quarterback in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, how was last week for you? I mean, uh, you know the triple option like the back of your hand from, from going to Coleraine. Your dad taught it to you and all that, but you weren't a quarterback in high school, but obviously you know well enough to run some scout team and you, you helped your team win here. You know, uh, it was definitely a grind, I'd say that. Uh, a lot of getting hit, which I'm not used to, you know, playing on defense, used to uh, doing the hitting. But, uh, you know, it was definitely interesting uh, to be out there and be on the other side of the, of the scout team and, and give those guys a look. And, I mean, I've known it since I was really young, you know, with my dad playing uh, or my dad running the triple at Cool Rain. So, you know, I just like to I'm just going to go out there and give them the best look they can get. Well, you got a lot of uh, compliments from your teammates. I mean, Cortez brings in the sheet and rattles off everybody's name and everything. And, and he mentioned like the first play in practice you, you broke one. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I was I was definitely uh, getting them for a little bit, but uh, got to give them credit because there's only so much uh, of a look you can give a, a, a team, I guess, these guys, especially when uh, offense like the triple. So, you know, just the way they came out and played and, and the physicality and the toughness and the speed that they played with, which is really hard to match, even even in scout team, you know, you can't give those guys that look. So uh, I'd say you got to give them some credit too. Now you got in the game. Yeah. It, it, was that an adjustment? Because you had to go back to, oh, now I get to hit some people. Um, <laughs> it was funny because uh, Coach Freeman came up to me and was like, do you know what you're doing? I was like, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And uh, it was nice to go against it after, uh, you know, playing the offense for the whole week and then being able to go in there and kind of know what they're going to run and how they're going to run it and, and to make plays off of that, it was, it was nice. Uh, how, why is that offense effective? Because, I mean, you ran it all those years at Colerain. Your dad still runs it. Uh, I, I, I tell him, I said, that the remarkable thing about Colerain is you, you guys say, all right, this is what we do, uh, line up and stop it, and really no one does. I just think it's so different, you know what I mean? Not, not many teams run it, and you have to be really disciplined. You know, it's, it's fundamental uh, defense. You have to, one man has, has that guy, you know, you have to play all phases of it. And uh, I think you kind of can get a team off balance if you're uh, playing fast and physical and stuff, and they still have to get that uh, one man that they're assigned to. And if they make a mistake, it's a big play, you know what I mean? And also, I mean, you really only need four yards. That's kind of the goal, like three to four yards in a triple. I mean, get three to four yards every play, the first down, you know, eat the clock up, get some points. So I just think that to be able to match the intensity, the speed, and the physicality that that offense brings is the challenge. A lot of people seem to think that, that running the ball is a conservative approach. You look at what Colerain does, and they're in the 40s most games, and they're in the running clock most games. Uh, not so conservative. Those are big, big offensive numbers, and and when they do throw, uh, you know, Deontay Smith Moore, your your dad said has 16 touchdown passes, leads the league. Yeah. So it, it opens some things up. I mean, I definitely think the, uh, the the guys that they have, the players they have, are are big play players, and they can turn you know those small runs into the big plays and. And just continuously after you get the run, the run, the run, you know, just pound it down your throat. He dropped back to the throw, and you know, Deontay's a great quarterback and can put it on the guys. And, and most of the time, when that happens in the triple, when you're throwing it, it's a touchdown. All right. Obviously, you, your knowledge of this helped out a little bit. It, 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 do we have a future coach Bolden in the works here? <laughs> you know, um, we'll have to see. You know, I've always always been really interested in coaching, and you know, it's in my blood. So. We'll just have to see. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's some pretty good DNA there, I would say. Now, did you ever really, really play quarterback? Because I know your younger brother does play quarterback, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he's the quarterback. But I played it a little bit in middle school, a little bit when I was a freshman. But after that, when I was a sophomore, I had to play some linebacker. You know, we, uh, we lost some guys due to graduation, so I had to step in. But just a little bit, you know, not too much. Yeah, well, Boldens are meant to play linebacker, I think, right? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. All right, well, uh, hopefully you get in a few more games, and uh, you, who knows, in a pinch someday, <laughs> they, can, they can put you in to run the option, yeah, you know, maybe. eat some clock. <laughs> Definitely, thank you.